you are watching Psychic Witch Talk, hosted by Christine Rossi and Diana Rachel. Christine Rossi reads at the Mystic Dream in Walnut Creek, California, and Diana Rachel runs Tarot Real Psychic Life Coaching in San Francisco, California. Absolutely. So what you got for me? I have a paintbrush. Oh, okay. I've, I've really right. seen you use this before too, so. Um, yes, I'll, I'll, since you brought it up, I'm going to um, say what you, I've seen you do, <laughs> which is um, you used, uh, I believe, Baker's ammonia. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you had a different brush, but yeah, or maybe not. Maybe that's the same one. Um, and you used it to brush it um, across to undo um, any negative magic that had been done in your space. Yeah. In the area that you were working. Yeah. So, um, you know, we'll say if somebody had done um, some sigil, um, even though it wasn't actually scribing or painting, if they had taken their hand and done some magic that way or something, um, or even taken oils and put them like on the door handle or the door jams or places like that, um, then you can take that ammo Baker's ammonia and brush it over. And it's just like, and eh, never mind. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> reset. Um, yeah, reset. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, there, there is one time I ever did it because ammonia is like a whole other thing. <laughs> so. Yeah, um, I found, um, you know, just hanging out with you when we worked together that I thought that that was amazing. And I thought it worked really, really well. Really well. Um, where, you know, small spells and, and uh, um, items had been placed um, around the workplace that were negative uh, yeah. influence or domineering influence, we can say, um, it completely wiped it out. It was like, you know, and it's not happening. And I thought that that was fantastic. It was like, wow, we need to add that to our toolkit of which I have now in yeah. my cupboards. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't need to use it. Thank goodness. Um, very it. Often. Yeah. it doesn't come up very often. So I'm, but I'm very pleased to have it. And, um, that's one, one thing the paintbrush. The other one that came to mind um, is I know people have seen those uh, little artist boards where you take water and you can paint a oh, zen. Yeah. Like the, the, the mini ones or yeah. Yeah um, you know something like that um, but I would do it maybe on um, on paper or whatever mm -hmm. just using plain water or um, you know doing a um, um, essential oil um, mist using instead of misting it I would use the paintbrush and then paint on and then watch it disappear that kind of thing um, there might still be some residue with a little bit of the oil I'm not sure I haven't tried that but I thought that mm -hmm. that would be a good idea um, the other thing too when I was talking about disappearing is if you um, if you want someone to disappear from your life um, then I would write their name in with using the paintbrush uh, with water and um, send them on their way. And then as it disappears, you can watch them, you know, visualize that they're disappearing. And then I would burn the paper afterwards. That's a good one. Okay. That's on the fly. <laughs> That's, That's totally a good one. On the fly. Um, yeah. And I know another thing is brushes can be used a little bit like feathers when you're smudging. Mm -hmm. um, or you can do a thing where, like, if you're trying to bandage something small, um, just like, you know, that little piece of niggling energy that's just being stubborn and blowing across the little brush while visualizing where you want it to go. That just, it works on small stuff, not on, like, the boulders that I've been dealing with, but little things. On little things. Yeah, I, th I think that's a great idea. I love that. Um, I was trying to think of other, um, the other thing that I would probably use it for, um, is you can make using cornstarch okay you mm -hmm. can make um uh different essential oil blends and put them into a cornstarch okay, okay. i'm not talking i'm not talking about making a paste i'm talking about i've made my essential you know i make a lot of those of the, right. the essential oil so um let's just say simply successful we'll go positive we'll go real positive here yes um 
So I've, I've made, I've created my Simply Successful oil um, mm -hmm. blend, okay? And I take um, some cornstarch and I'll put it in a jar, just a little bit. And then I'll add my Simply Successful um, oil, mm -hmm. drop by drop, and then shaking it up really, really, really good. And until I have a really strong scent mm -hmm. on the cornstarch, okay? Then you can use the paintbrush to paint like, um, you, can, you can paint the bottom of your shoes. You can sprinkle some in the bottom of your, your yeah. shoes. You can, um, you know, paint like, you know, a little bit on your face and like go like this. And it's not going to hurt you because it's just cornstarch. Yeah. Well, and you can take that and sometimes you can use the brush for this too if you really want to be picky and actually take that and brush them in your hair yeah. a little bit. Uh, the other thing is using this, you can actually use this for like light or a cleansing too. You know, find mm -hmm. some of the small things and brush them out again. Um, so yeah, it just this is the fun thing with random objects around our homes. <laughs> it's like, oh no, don't throw that out. I could use that. <laughs> there is the risk of hoarding. I acknowledge that. <laughs> <laughs> it's very difficult because you you know the, when you really your mind starts getting very creative and you're like mm -hmm. oh but then i could do a spell for this and i could do a spell oh no now i need more of these and i need that too and then i can you know and, and, and then there's it, a certain point where the clutter becomes the obstacle to the magic yeah <laughs> yeah i try not to i try i try to clear out often but uh not all for more ways to connect to christine or diana follow us on facebook at facebook.com slash psychic witch talk or go to psychicwitchtalk.com to join our mailing list and find out about psychic fairs and other events where Diana and Christine will be reading and teaching. Book Christine by calling 925-933-2342 or by logging on to themysticdream.com. She is available every Monday and Wednesday in Walnut Creek, California. Diana at Diana Rachel Psychic Life Coaching by going to dianarachel.com. Don't forget the J between the A and the C, or by texting 415-508-3202. All appointments must be made a minimum of 24 hours in advance. Appointments are available by Skype, phone, and in person for those in the San Francisco Bay Area. Pick up your copy of Diana's book and Diagram Prize nominee, Divorcing a Real Witch for Pagans and the People That Used to Love Them, available on Amazon today in Kindle and Softcover.